Anyway, last time we played this game... It was a mess. Every... Chad... Chad was an absolute mess. He was a creep. He was a predator, is what he was. And he was also really racist. He does not like Japanese people. He hates Japanese people. He fetishizes them, really. Um, it was bold racism. He's always talking about how cute and small our main character is. I don't know. I know all everyone assumes we're a thief or a ch or a criminal. It's pretty messed up. And he came in, and Chad came into our room while we were sleeping and started touching us. Huh. Anyway. You hope I had the best birthday I could? It was terrible. Every day is terrible. Anyhow. Let's just get right into it. Um, no, no way. My hand shook as it held the cards, and right now we're in a, we're in a casino den to make some money. Uh, this is what Chad suggested, I, I don't know. I had been completely crushed. There had been a clear difference from the very first hand. This was... You're definitely cheating. Yeah, where's your proof? Well, well... Didn't I tell you? Cheating is the standard here. Chad whispered into my ear. If you happen to be interested, I can certainly instruct you. To be honest, I was tempted. But if I pulled the same tricks this guy did, I'd be no different from him. And no different from the people who scammed me. Haha, <laughs> what now? Given up already? Ugh. I knew he was cheating and yet I couldn't win. So basically, I have to find proof. Is this kake guri? <laughs> I glared resolutely at him and set down my chips. I'd like to go one more round. Didn't I tell you? Gah. I hated it, but I had nothing more to say. I hated losing even for a single round. I wanted to get back what had been taken from me. I kept playing and playing like an idiot. Now what? I wanted to say one more game, but I'm out of money. I'd lost all the chips Chad had borrowed. I couldn't stop and I couldn't believe it had come to this. I clenched my fists in frustration, my nails digging into my palms. Ooh, does he have a manicure? Some long nails? Hinata, it's time to call it quits. I heard Chad's soft voice. His warm hands rested on my shoulders. I sighed deeply and accepted my defeat. I lose. Let's end the game here. The man stood up with a satisfied smile. By the way, who are you affiliated with? What does that mean? Affiliated with? What do you mean? You playing stupid? No, no. He really doesn't know. I just brought him here. Would you perhaps play against me next? Y you Yes, or would you rather not? Chad chuckled, looking deeply amused. The cheater's face had definitely changed. Ooh, he's getting right on the cheater's face. If you only ever play against weak opponents, your abilities will grow dull. Chad sat down in the empty seat next to me and took some ch chips from his pocket. I had no idea about the scope of his abilities, but what if Chad lost? I couldn't help thinking about that. Chad, we should stop. Are you worried about me? Of course I am. I'm just worried you're gonna get you're gonna go broke and I won't have a place to stay. 
Then why not cheer me on? I'll win, you'll see. The man who had just been playing against me took his seat again, looking extremely reluctant. As the game continued, he grew paler and paler. He lost so badly that I almost pitied him. That's my seventh win. Cr crap Well, shall we have one more game? Let me off the hook, will ya? What, what, is he compelled to f play another game? Why is he asking? He can just walk away. I don't- what? Just get up. <laughs> the man who had challenged me left the rest of the chips where they were and ran off. Oh, he's running away. But you understand now, don't you? What? what do you mean? You can't protect yourself here. <laughs> what do you mean you can't protect yourself here? You have to have me protect you. A tiny little Japanese boy like yourself. You actually thought you could, you could take care of yourself. Did you bring me here to convince me to go back home? Certainly not. You can make that decision for yourself. It's simple. If you get tricked, it's your fault. The thought process is the same for this casino, which allows cheating, as it is for the city itself. I didn't want to believe it, but I couldn't come up with a retort either. What the hell? This country, this city, it was completely different from any other place I knew. So different I couldn't even fathom it. My legs were unsteady. While I stood there confused, Chad gave me a pat on the back. Why don't we look around some more? He knows Chad would catch him if he ran. He's done it before. You're being so nice to me. Chad, you're so nice to me. Me. Chad tilted his head, looking ever so slightly confused. Yes, you don't know me, but you've been kind to me this whole time. Now you've gone to the trouble of using your own money just to help me understand how this city works. You're so nice, doing this for me even though I don't have any money. I looked straight at him as I said it. For a split second, a bitter look crossed his face. And then he chuckled. Did I say something funny? Not at all. I just realized what a truly honest boy you are. His soft, beautiful smile made me feel so good. But I... I just made him laugh. You coming to this city was a mistake. What? I... Hinata. That gentle voice calling my name. I'd gotten worked up without thinking about it, and I realized I was cleaning Chad's jacket. What? <laughs> Those uke instincts just coming into play. You're just... Your body just magnetically... Uh attracted to his, and you just become a woman next to him. Normally I enjoy- oh. Normally I enjoy defiling pure boys like you, but somehow I just can't bring myself to do that to you. Maybe it was because you're too old. Older than the boys I usually defile. What what are you talking about? May I kiss you? Slip my tongue inside your mouth, swirl it around a little, spit inside you. I raised my voice in surprise at this sudden unexpected shift in conversation. Haha, <laughs> you're so cute, I just couldn't help but want to kiss you. Just your hair, perhaps. Would you allow me... Would I allow you to kiss my hair? No, you cretin. No, are you serious? Of course. I'm quite serious. Chad took a step towards me, and he gently stroked my hair again. I thought I said no. He drew his face nearer to mine, and I caught the scent of his sweet cologne. Is that Mountain Dew fragrance? <laughs> And then... You're reacting like a girl. Have I ever mentioned that you look like a girl? Like a pretty, little, young girl? This is getting really creepy. 
Having kissed my hair, Chad chuckled. G girl Chad, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Well, what do you think? I really do hate it, though, when they say, you look like a girl. Like, is that a compliment? Like, am I supposed to be happy about that? Like, it's, it's gross. From the way he was acting, I knew he was making fun of me. My cheeks grew hot. For now, why don't we look around some more, shall we? Chad put his hand on my back once more and guided me along. Oh god, he's gonna... He, I noticed his hand started slipping further and further down my back until it, it rested on my cheeks. He started pulling apart my cheeks with his one hand, inserting a finger. I calmed down a little while we were walking around. At that point, a question popped up in my head. Um, what does affiliated actually mean? Ah, you mean what that man said earlier. In order to prevent complete chaos in the underworld, there are a number of organizations. The Mafia, gangs, there are plenty of names for them. But even among these organizations, there's a hierarchy. Wow. Like seniors and juniors in school clubs, I guess. Not that it matters here, but there are unattached people, too. Ugh, what? Honey! <laughs> get out of the- Get out of the way! Why are you so close to our face? The people who move around freely are a lot more important. I looked over my shoulder and saw Alan sneering angrily in our direction. Alan, why are you here? Looking for someone, figured that if I go where he goes, I should run into him sooner or later. You're probably right. Isn't it a little too soon for you to be here? When it comes to needing money, there's no too soon or too late. By your standards. The wrinkles in Alan's brow deepened. By my standards, it's only right that I offer a helping hand. As always, the air between them was charged. Um, what kind of person are you looking for, Alan? We can take care of our own business later, so I'd like to help if I can. Why are you so desperate to help this man you don't know? Uke power is activating. It's just you just need to help any man that's taller than you and acts like a douche. Oh, nah, it's fine. Then get back to your manhunt, Alan. Hinata and I will return to our games. Wait, I... I'm actually... As I stumbled over my words, Alan spoke over me, and they're always talking over the uke. Just great. He doesn't have anything to say, it's not like he was trying to talk. Chad, why don't you and I play cards? Me, against you. Why all of the sudden? It's too early for him not to be learning these games. If I beat you, maybe you'll reconsider. Me? Haha, <laughs> you needn't treat Hinata like a child. You treat us like a child all the time! You even call us like a young little child! Chad laughed, looking amused. Hinata's not like you or me. Isn't he? He seems to be taking on my customs easily enough. What? what are you talking about? Look, he's already turning red, just like I trained him to. You should see what we do in, in my room when we're alone together. You should see how well I have him trained. I, is he making fun of me again? I turned away trying to hide my embarrassment. You're only going to be a bad influence on him. If you keep talking like his big brother, he's going to hate you. The atmosphere is growing dark again. I sense that the people around us are starting to look our way too. Um, you two are going to play against each other, right? The longer you take, the longer it'll be before we can go home. For an instant, their gazes met and they took their seats.
Um... As they began their game, the two of them scowled intensely at their cards. Hinata, I'm determined to make you mine. Is that what this game is about? Is that is that why you two are are battling? I I didn't realize that I was I was I was the prize. Hinata, you want me to free you from his evil clutches, don't you? I don't even know you. Why are you talking to me like this? What are you two even talking about? I didn't exactly want to belong to Chad. I didn't recall having become his possession. And what's more, I didn't think I was caught in anyone's evil clutches. Hinata, I want you to cheer me on. I don't even remember your name clearly. Ignore Alan's babbling. You should cheer me on. What should I do? They're scaring me. Support Chad. Well, his name's Chad. I feel like I should just do it. For some reason, I felt certain that I wanted to support Chad. He's always helped me out when I've been in a pinch. I can't pay him back yet, but the least I can do is cheer him on. Chad, you can do it. You can win my boy hole. If it means I can make you mine, I'll win it. At any rate... Why are they making me the prize? Shall we say two out of three? That's fine. One was hiding his determination behind a seemingly harmless smile like an herbivore. The other, like a fearsome carnivore, showed his unconcealed fury. The game began. Ah, not a bad hand. The game of choice was poker. Each of them was looking at his hand and, and nodding in satisfaction. They'll probably cheat during the game. Maybe the winner will be whoever's better at cheating. I noticed that people were gathering around to watch. It looks like some of them were placing bets on who would win. This world is really frightening. I watched the game intently. At some point, I noticed that someone was standing behind me. I thought it was just another spectator. Oh, are we about to get kidnapped? Or maybe groped? Ooh, maybe it'll be a faceless mob care. <laughs> this game is so racist. You should have gone back to Japan right aw straight away. Damn Orientals. A low voice. For some reason I shivered. Something hard was pressed against my back. <laughs> oh lord, oh my god, I knew this was going to happen. I hate this game. Oh, I actually, truly hate this game. I just can't control myself around you beautiful, young-looking Japanese boys. You all look like little girls. It just turns me on. Someone had snuck into the crowd and was threatening me. Yeah, they're threatening you with a with some sexual assault. Episode 4. How I got raped. That's the subtitle. Something hard was pressed against my back. What was it? Don't freak out. Calm down. Take a deep breath. It's this guy again. Meanwhile, Chad and Alan's game continued before me. <laughs> You think you can win against me? Won't know until the game's over, will we? They haven't even noticed what's going on over here. I could still feel the hard object against my spine. It kept me from moving so much as an inch. I could even feel it throbbing against my back. And I could hear the man grunting behind me. What should I do? Shouldn't you be calling for help? The voice was coming coming from behind me sounded like it was enjoying itself. I shuddered. At the same time, I had a feeling that I'd heard that voice before. Where have I heard it? This will be a lot easier if you just stay quiet. Ah, that's it. It's the guy who beat me up at uni the university. That's right. He committed assault. A hate crime. On Hinata. I'm only going to say this once, so listen up. If you don't want to get these guys involved, you'll do exactly as I say. I couldn't possibly run away. 
I can't do anything without knowing who that guy really is. Gathering all my courage, I turned around. Uh, a gun? I had thought he was holding a knife to my back, or hopefully just his big throbbing magnum p dong. Is that the real thing? I had no way of knowing. I'd never seen a fake gun before, let alone a real one. Yeah, a gun. You want me to shoot? Maybe I'll... that'll keep you in line. Even if I wanted to ask for help, everyone is focused on the game right now. He had me cornered. What am I supposed to do? Just quietly wait until everything's over? His finger was on the trigger. He was about ready to blow all his splooge on me. I reflexively shut my eyes at the thought of being shot right then and there. But... I won't allow you to meddle with him. That familiar voice, the sound of someone moving quickly. A moment later, a gunshot rang out. I tentatively opened my eyes. Surprisingly, I was uninjured. I'm not hurt anywhere. I'm sorry I didn't come to the rescue right away. Shad Coleman, you... You deflected the... <laughs> oh lord you know most most anime protagonists cut a bullet in half with their katana chad coleman did it with a playing card you deflected the gun with a playing card you've got to be kidding me it dawned on me that Chad had actually saved my life. Ch Chad, thank you so much. I could have fucking died, you piece of shit. <laughs> you come up here with a playing card to try to save me? I held tightly onto his sleeve. That was so scary. Oh, time to become a demure little bitch next to you. The man raised his gun once more. This time... That's enough. Alan's voice sounded strange and low. Glaring at Alan, the man dropped the gun. Hinata, your life is in my hands. Don't forget that. I'll get you, you filthy Jap. He threw me one last look over his shoulder, then melted back into the crowd. He didn't seem the least bit perturbed. Is no one else gonna even be no one else in this club gonna be even be screaming after hearing a gunshot? He wasn't even aiming at me. I'm gonna figure out what he's up to, and you're just ups what? What kind of ego do you have? You're upset that he wasn't here for you? For some reason, Alien hurried off as if to chase the man down. Going after him alone is dangerous. Alan, wait! I wanted to take off to try and catch up with Alan. But when I began to move, Chad grabbed me tightly from behind. Pinata, just where do you think you're going? I saved your life, and as you're seeming, that, that gives me one uh, sex coupon I can refund at any time of my choosing. Where? It's not safe for Alan to go by himself. I don't want him to put himself in danger for my sake. Even though a gun had gone off a moment ago, everyone was going about their business as usual. No one seemed interested in getting involved. I'm begging you, let me go. Alan will be quite alright if you just leave it to him. Besides, what could a tiny little Japanese girl like you do? But... If you go too, you'll be playing into that man's hands. And you're only allowed to play in my hands, Hinata. He seems to have some business with you. Chad's arms loosened around me. If you still want to go, then by all means. I was worried that if I left, that if I left he might abandon me. Why? Why am I afraid of Chad leaving me? Could it be because he's been manipulating my feelings this entire time? 
Hinata, you've made the right choice. Is this what Stockholm Syndrome feels like? I was standing still trying to figure everything out. Chad must have mistaken that for an answer. I was just thinking about how scared I was that he would desert me. Will Alan be okay? He knows when to quit. He'll be alright. And if he doesn't, well then that's just less competition that I have to fight with to fuck you. To fuck you. Half an hour had passed since Alan had run off. He's still not back yet. Are they just waiting here? Perhaps he won't be back. Maybe he is dead. H how come? Because he was losing our game. It wasn't what I had expected. I blinked. Um... You're really good. That's because you're really good, Chad. You're good at everything that you do. I bet you'd be really good at fingering me later. Are you trying to test me by saying such lovely things? Even with all that's been going on today, I still want to make you mine. That that's a bit While we were talking, Chad was gazing at me with a kind with that kind expression of his. <laughs> You seem to be feeling better. I'm glad. Yes, I'm calmer now. Time to think of it. What would have happened if I'd really just run off? If I'd really run off just now? I'm no match against someone with a gun, so I would have no idea what to do. The only thing I know how to do is just pull off my pants and, and put my ass in the air. That ought to defuse the tension. Above all, that man might have thought it was a good opportunity to... I might have been killed. You're always so cute, Hinata. That's why I like you. Chad put his arms around me. My ear was against his chest and I could hear his, his heartbeat. Ah, that smell. <laughs> oh, Mountain Dew Voltage. My favorite soda. It's a beautiful scent of cologne. It's the same one I noticed the first time I met him. A bittersweet scent. It had a strange way of calming me down. On the other hand, it made me slightly nervous. Chad saved me again. He has lived his whole life in this terrifying world and yet he's so kind. I hate to admit it, but if I were a girl, he'd probably be the kind of guy I would fall for. Too bad I'm totally not a girl and... Totally, totally straight. In the end, Alan didn't come back, never mind how long we waited. Hinata, I hope you'll sleep well tonight. Thank you, though I still feel as if you're treating me like a child somehow. <laughs> you noticed. I was still worried about Alan. How can we? How are we just gonna brush past that? Him treating Hinata like a child. How can we just move past that? But I decided to trust Chad when he said Alan would be back th the next day. My own limited physical strength is a big part of it. If only I wasn't such a, a twink soy boy. My nerves were on edge in that strange place. The moment we got home, Chad told me my face was ghostly pale. Will you be able to sleep? I heard that body heat can make you sleep better. <laughs> oh, We should strip down until we're both nude and, and huddle up in bed together, conserve warmth. If I slept next to you, you'd have that all the time. N next to me? I'm not a kid, I'll be fine. I wouldn't want to sleep next to a kid, <laughs> especially not naked. I covered myself with a blanket, or maybe he would, or maybe I would enjoy doing that. I always talk about how young you are. You really are adorable, Hinata. Good night. My face grew weirdly hot when Chad called me adorable. Maybe that's just because I'm tired. I need to get some sleep. When I closed my eyes, I remembered the moment Chad had protected me. Chad deflecting the gar card with the gun with a playing card. 
His gallant figure was seared into my brain. Now that I think about it, Chad and the guy who attacked me know each other, don't they? A lot of things didn't add up. Why didn't you ask him who he is? Was Chad connected to this somehow? <laughs> Did Chad actually pay that man to to sexually assault me in that casino club and then attempt to take my life so he could come in and save the day so I would so I would grow attracted to him? To that guy pretending to be me, I can't even think about that horribly introduced plotline. Did Chad take me there on purpose? That that stolen identity plotline's a real headache. But he saved me. I couldn't relax, there was just too much going on in my mind. Too much I didn't understand. My body was exhausted, but my mind was wide awake. I looked over at where Chad was sleeping and slowly began to drift off. Can't sleep. Chad was propped up on one elbow looking at me. What? Well, why? Are you, are you going to come into the room every night and, and just press your face against mine? You didn't sound like you were fast asleep, so I came to check on you. What? Chad grinned and then crawled into my bed without even asking. I thought you were going to respect my wishes. Um, what are you... What do you think? But I couldn't find the right words. I had no clue what was going on through Chad's head. Oh yeah, the guy who came after me at the casino. Who is he? I quickly changed the subject. I've seen his face before. I'd love to know why he was after you. Was that true? I wasn't going to figure out the truth just by wondering about it. If Chad was in league with that guy and took me to the casino on purpose, it wouldn't have been far-fetched for Chad himself to kill me in a place like that. He knocked a... His kind eyes and caring voice soothed my heart. Then... He not a... <laughs> Do you want to hold on to my weasel? Just give it a few shakes. The tone of Chad's voice dropped, and he drew closer. And... Something soft presses against my mouth, tasting my lips. Mah. I opened my eyes wide and saw him looking at me, an amused glint in his eye. In a daze, I felt something wet slide in between my teeth. Now don't use any teeth, Hinata, my dear. So stop I freaked out and pushed Chad away. Oh my, you're stronger than your young female looks give you credit for, Hinata. I couldn't respond to his light remark. When I wiped my lips, they were wet, and I realized what had happened. There was semen on my lips. That's just now his tongue. Uh, I I'm a guy, you know. I'm well aware, so what? His face was completely unreadable, and I lay there dumbfounded. You kissed a guy. Isn't that weird somehow? I was just trying to help you relax so you could fall asleep. I thought if you, I thought if I slid my tongue inside your mouth, it would just bore you to tears and you'd fall asleep. It was a perfectly logical assumption. His tone was careless as he pushed his long hair out of his eyes. You're making fun of me again. Please stop it. I tried to move away from him, but that wasn't really possible since the bed was so narrow. You hurt me, Hinata. I'm going to have to punish you for hurting me. M me Chad nodded firmly. You worry too much about the things I say and do. Just let me do whatever the hell I want. Jesus. Look, if I touch your face like this and you burn bright red, that means you're asking for it. And if I touch your ass and you get hard, that means you want me to have sex with you. Embarrassed at having it pointed out, I covered my cheeks with both hands. If I kiss your face like this, you sigh so sweetly. 
I held my breath and shook my head furiously. You truly are adorable. You make me want to take advantage of the weakest parts of you. Chad moved even closer and whispered these words right into my ear. You really are fascinating. And also, you're so young looking. Like a little middle schooler. Ah! Don't move. Chad's voice was so smooth and low, tickling my ear. I couldn't figure out what to do next. Should I take advantage of you? You're such a weak little thing, and you couldn't fight back even if you tried. But if you did fight back, that would just make things even more fun. He embraced me tightly. It felt as if the bed was wrapping me up between the sheets. Chad's arms were warm, and since he was so much taller than I was, his body covered me completely. I can hear Chad's heart beating. Thump, thump, thump. The rhythm sped up a little. Somehow, you're unusually cute. You arouse something in me beyond simple lust. L lust <laughs> I told you, it's something beyond that. L like what? Like I want to make you my personal little Japanese slave. That's really messed up. I still felt like he was teasing me. Wrapped up in Chad's arms like that, I just had to ask. Let me see. Something like what one might feel for an adorable puppy. A puppy you want to have sex with. I've never felt that way towards a puppy! A puppy? I looked up in surprise and met his amused gaze. His sudden grin sent a shock through me. Um, aren't you a little too close? Not at all. With him playing innocent like this, I found myself at a loss for words again. Pinata, you are so very lovely. His face suddenly came closer once again, and I squeezed my eyes shut. My hole too, of course. He presses his lips gently against my cheek. Ah! To be honest, I would love to spoil and enjoy you completely right now, but I don't suppose that's possible. I don't like forcing things. <laughs> oh, I'm really good at lying, aren't I? After saying that, he kissed my cheek a second time and a third. I felt like I had to brush him off, but I didn't know how. So helpless and so troubled. Are you trying to get me all worked up? What? I responded more shrilly than I had expected. Chad, I think you're, you've played around enough. I made up my mind and shoved him away. This time I got a stronger response than I had expected, and Chad moved away. And then... That's too bad. What? He kissed my lips with a small smacking sound. <laughs> I was so startled that I pushed his face away with both hands. I suppose if I exhibit any more strange behavior... <sighs> You'll get angry with me. I'll lay off for today, but if I tease you, it's your own fault. <sighs> and if I... If I happen to have sex with you, take you against your will in some back alley or dark closets, then that's just because your eyes told me to. Leaving it, leaving it at that, he returned to his own bed. I couldn't sleep. My heart was pounding too hard. Chad left early in the morning. Where is he going this early? It would be difficult to look for him in the face right now anyway. You're going out. Alan appeared as I was cleaning up after breakfast. Now we're doing all of his house chores? Oh lord. Oh, uh, he not as sissification is going exactly as planned. I'm turning Hinata into my little cute Jap domestic Japanese wife. 
Yeah. What's with that surprised face? You're okay. I ran over to Alan to make sure he was unhurt. Oh, right. Because of yesterday. Of course I'm okay. Brad? Oh yeah, Brad's the other one, right? You two sure seem friendly. I looked over my shoulder to see Brad walking casually into the living room. Is this not the kitchen? This is the kitchen. Not the living room. Can I join you? Good morning. I was actually about to go out, so... Where are you going? You shouldn't go out by yourself too often. Um, I'm an adult, so... I just wanted to think some stuff over. Something on your mind? I'll help. Brad wrapped his arms around my lower back and pulled me in. I couldn't help but notice a firm, hard bulge in his pants. Um, I've already had enough of that. Had enough of what? Brad placed his hands on my hips. I've had enough of being sexually assaulted by strangers is what? It immediately reminded me of Chad. With him clinging to me like that, the words had just slipped out. Right now, what I need to think about is... But there was too much on my mind. The guy who attacked me. Woo! Chad, the stranger who had claimed to be me. Wait, what? Did I read that wrong? Um, oops. I kind of read it wrong. If I... If I tease you, it's your own fault. It's like saying I'm at fault for being tricked. So Tad was... Chad was teasing me after all. If he was teasing me, did that mean it was all just a game to him? Sneaking into bed with me like that? Ch chad I hadn't expected to actually meet the guy at the very moment I was thinking about him. On top of that, Chad was accompanied by someone I didn't know. Who is that? Obviously, I know I knew he had his own life. But when I saw him with another guy who had a similar statue to mind, I felt a sudden knot in my chest. It's my fault for being teased. He's already moved on to a new Japanese sissy that he can that he can have his way with. Why was I in so much pain? I didn't know why, but I couldn't stop myself from following him. Where are we? A abandoned building? The atmosphere was... What? I didn't even click that. The atmosphere was terribly cold. The walls were crumbling here and there, and there were no signs of anyone else around. What in the world would he be doing in a place like this? If it's a business exchange of some sort, maybe I'd better head back. I couldn't imagine what kind of work Chad did. All I knew was that I couldn't picture him working in an office somewhere. He probably has a whole, a whole, a whole prostitution ring of Japanese little sluts. He probably wants me to join it. You're in pretty big trouble, aren't you? His soothing voice echoed through the abandoned building. The other man was standing in Chad's shadow. I couldn't see his face or hear his voice properly. It's a good enough trade for me. But what about you? Shut up, just check the money. That voice? No, it couldn't be. I had to get a look at the other guy's face. I didn't care if they saw me there. I slowly approached the two of them. <gasps> it's the one who stole our identity! Why- what is the fake me doing here? What what are you doing here? That's what I want to ask you. I looked straight into Chad's face. Would he look away? Would he apologize? But his reply wasn't wasn't what I had expected. What are you doing here, he not uh What why are you laughing? Why you ask? His smile looked vaguely troubled as though he himself didn't know. Maybe he didn't realize this was the guy who had switched places with me at university. He's the one who pretended to be me. Ah, uh, I see. 
Then it makes sense that you'd want to know why I'm here with him. Are you making fun of me again? Certainly not. I simply had an inkling that he might be involved somehow. He didn't sound like you were trying to hide anything. I didn't know what to say. As you suspected, I'm not entirely uninvolved either. I received a request to help this man get into university. Chad crossed his arms and looked down at me. I couldn't say a word. Probably because Chad's behavior is no different from the way he usually acted. I should be angry, but it just hurts. I shouldn't have hit him, but... I should have hit him, but I couldn't find the courage. Kanata, why are you looking so sad? Because I am. Why are you sad? Have you been tricking me this whole time? Making a fool of me while you stood there and laughed about it? Laughed about it? Come on. It was my own fault for trusting you, wasn't it? Hinata, you're making it sound like I've been lying to you. I ignored Chad and ran. After a moment, I realized the fake me had disappeared too, but I didn't really care. All I felt was shock at having been betrayed. Episode 5! Ooh, things are getting spicy. Chad's betrayed us. Where are we now? Mm, where is this? Several days had passed since the exchange at the abandoned building? Oh, we're sleeping in Alan's room. We need to go home. <laughs>